Hi there! In this video I will try to make sense of plenty of types of vaults, how they were evolving, how they are actually called, and I will show really quickly how to draw them, with an emphasis on the word quickly. Because we are all busy people. Simple vaults were used already in the oldest centers of civilization, like ancient Persia and Mesopotamia. But we owe their real development to Etruscan civilization and ancient Romans. Barrel vault. It's basically a semicircular arch in 3D. In ancient Rome, the bearing semicircles initially adhered to each other. Later, bearing arches were set apart and covered with stone plates. Vaults were so popular in ancient Rome that there were even fake vaults in some houses. Structural skeleton was made of, for example, olive wood and was attached to the actual straight ceiling. Reed and plaster completed the form. Groin vault looks quite complex, but it's created simply by two perpendicular barrel vaults. No wonder that it's also called cross vault. The next idea of ancient Romans was a pavilion vault, also known as cluster vault. Where this idea comes from? Take a look at the groin vault. These groins are the constructional base for a pavilion vault as well, but this one is enclosed in a different way. Let's move to the Byzantine Empire, or Eastern Roman Empire if you prefer. Byzantines tried really hard to create a nice transition from a square plan of walls to rounded dome. One idea was creating a sail vault. Geometrically, this shape is created by cutting off pieces of semi-sphere that would be outside this square. The other one is quite funny. It's called the dome on pendentives, and yes, those spherical triangles are called pendentives. Not funny enough, in the 9th century a new element was added. A tambour. of the Roman Empire was a serious backlash for architectural thought. In ancient Rome, forces directed downward and outwards were captured by huge masses of walls. Builders in early medieval times still wanted to use vaults, but they didn't really know how to deal with forces directed outwards, so building disasters happened quite often. The solution came in the form of lesions on the outside and additional columns inside buildings. During the first part of medieval times, barrel and groin vaults were still in use. Slowly but surely arches tops were rising higher and higher to finally evolve into well-known and liked pointed arches. This wasn't a purely aesthetical change. Forces directed outwards were heavily reduced, so there was no need for super thick walls anymore. Rib vaults helped to create the whole Gothic style. Absurdly high ceilings, thinner walls, larger windows and slender external buttresses all resulted from the use of rib vaults. Ribs and transverse arches brilliantly transferred loads to relatively slender columns or pillars. To learn more about those and other gothic details, check out my previous video. Top edges of these pointed arches could be connected with straight lines, just like in the case of barrel vaults, though often the middle point of a vault was slightly higher, which created a curvature reminding a dome. That's true that pointed arches as a form were known even in ancient times but until late medieval times, their constructional properties for transferring clothes weren't really used. 
With time and the little effort of architects and builders, ribbed vaults evolved into stellar vaults. Drawing this can be fun, or it may end up with a disaster. So here is a projection of the vault on a plane. The star in the middle consists of six diamond shapes. Now let's make it three-dimensional. Barrel Vault in turn evolved into Net Vault. The name obviously comes from a net of ribs going along the Barrel Vault. What I'm doing here is projecting this net from a plane to a 3D Vault. Even if the net itself is kind of obvious, the Vault looks quite sophisticated. It may even seem as a triumph of form over content, but let's remember that ribs were those bearing constructional elements transferring clothes to piers. So here we have the most significant members of the vaults family. Distant ancestors like Corbel Vault, strange cousins, or hybrids like a cross barrel vault haven't been portrayed in this video but they will remain in our memory.